Hello there. So we've seen in the last blog reference dimensions and how we can uh, configure them in a snowflaked fact dimension data warehouse model. So further to this, uh, we take the concept onto the next level with degenerate dimensions. Now uh, let's try to see how we configure that in our cube and, and understand what degenerate dimension means. To begin with, uh, let's go to the fact internet sales, sales table. If uh, I select the data, or uh, I would like to, like to take your attention to the sales order details and the sales order line number. So what we see in these two columns is is it is having a descriptive data, which uh, cannot be however which cannot be aggregated. It just adds more sense uh, for each of the customer what were the order number and the order line number based on on which the orders were placed. And so it is, although it has been aggregated, it, it has been put in the fact table, but it is a descriptive information. So we cannot do any aggregation on these two columns uh, whatsoever. But it would be good to have these two columns uh, to add some more value, uh, value to our cube if there is a need to be so. So this uh, is uh, uniquely, we can identify these two columns as a degenerate dimension, which means if the cardinality, cardinality is, is, the num is the number of unique values for your attribute, for each of the attribute that we are talking about. So if the cardinality of, uh, of the data in the attributes are low, which means there are a lot of duplicate records, it is advised to create a, a separate table uh, out of this uh, existing fact table and then again use a foreign key uh, kind of concept and, and link them together and that table would be a dimension table and would be called a degenerate dimensions so we would be using the same concept uh, however we can use the same fact table and create a dimension out of the fact table uh, and then drill through the data now I have talked a lot before uh, and I'm not sure if I made some sense to you so I think if we get into it and and, and uh, configure it we would be uh, able to understand what I'm uh, trying to say here so to begin with uh, let's try to configure a dimension from the fact internet sales uh, so I go back to my bit and let's go back to uh, the dimension folder and add a new dimension and from the existing table we select fact internet sales now if we see there are two uh, columns which has been identified by SQL Server on its own that is the sales order number and the line number so these were precisely what we were looking for uh, however we will not uh, try to drill through we would uh, try to uh, uh, know the information on the order number and not the line number so we call the name column as uh, let's go with the order number and then we say next so now the next window gives you all the different uh, uh, foreign keys on, on this fact but here we are treating this uh, this fact table as a dimension on its own so we, we do not need uh, any of these to be selected so we deselect them uh, and we are trying to build the dimensions uh, on the fact table so now next we move on to the sales order number and uh, keep and, and persist with the key values uh, and call it next let's call this all the details for detail and call it finish now let's process this so bear in mind what we have done is so far we have been using the dimension table or the dim table name those were the dimension tables which were having foreign key onto your fact internet sales and built the dimension so far but in this scenario what we have done is we have used the fact internet sales itself and built a dimension out of it called the order details so just keep that in mind and this this dimension is what is called a degenerate dimension uh, now let me go back to the cube uh, if I were to go back to the cube and let me add a dimension order detail which we have just built now let's try to see the order detail a dimension has been added again to the to the dimension usage and there has been a reference fact 
which which uh, says that there is a, the fact table itself is being used as a dimension so it's a degenerate dimension so fact denotes the same uh, cool all uh, and it also links uh, to the internet sales now let's process this cube and let's go back to the browser reconnect it and now let's start to look at the data first so first of all I select the sales amount I let's select the product by category and then let's uh, well let's select all and then maybe let's use our newly created dimension which is the order detail and let's get to know the order order number for each of the products which have been shipped so so these were uh, the order numbers which were for, for, for the products bike let me uh, add a filter on this and let's try to select only the mountain bikes out of these so this gives you the order numbers for the mountain bikes and the sales amount of each of them so it's just an, a, a, a descriptive information mind you the order number is being pulled from the fact table itself so order number although being pulled from the fact table acts as a dimension data here uh, I clear this out let's try to take a look at the different uh, dimension node altogether so I add the sales amount and let's try to know who were the customers and what were the order numbers so let's add the customer key this would bring out all the customer names and the sales amount uh, and the purchasings I mean if I may say so for each of the customers and then let's try to know what were the order numbers uh, which were for each of the customers so let's add this right so what we see here is these were the order numbers which were which were placed by John so likewise and then we get each of the sales amount so each of uh, based on each of the customer we get the order number and the respective sales amount now if we were to let's also try to add the product that they have uh, bought right so John has bought bikes so likewise we get each of the products and if we also would like to add one more dimension maybe their uh, region we can as well do so so we can get the information of which from which country John belongs to and may uh, so that would add some more information to your uh, aggregation so likewise uh, that would be a, a simple demonstration uh, on your degenerate dimensions and how fact table themselves can act as a, 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 uh, and add some information and act as a dimension on to our cube structure uh, till we meet next time uh, thank you friends and have a great day bye